first job we've got um, Haldex modulator valve from last week that we need to replace over at Maritime. So we're going to go there first, get that done because we, we did actually say that we'd probably get it done yesterday but we're just so busy, um, we, couldn't, we didn't have time. So we need our diagnostic interface in first. So, bang that on. That just gives power to the valve. It also tests if there's any active faults. If it stays on, there's an active fault. Um, if there's no active faults, it'll flash up for a second and then go off. Um, and you know that it's good then. So we've got 25.1 volts, which is perfect. So this is where we left it from Thursday. Obviously we've got the three supply voltage issues, which are active, and we've got a supply voltage of 34.8, which is incorrect. So yeah, still got faulty ECU. So now we need to go to parameters, load from ECU. Shove this in the side. As I said before, these are just really good. Just like. This is our culprit here Haldex modulator valve slash ECU. So, anyway. Let's get removing this bugger. I like to get all of my tools out so I know what I've got with me. I'm not searching through a box every time. Find a good spot. This will do just fine. So we're going to remove power lead first. There we go. Just leave that hand up there. This pipes are going to be in my way so I'm going to take these off first 22 mil I can already tell that this valve is going to be much easier than the last one we did because I'm actually able to turn them all by bloody hand instead of having to do a little turn on a spanner each time oh, so much dripping on me great lovely oh yeah this is going to be a good one this one I can tell I'm not going to have availability to do any breakdowns today, unfortunately, mate. I'm absolutely flat out. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, sorry, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Cheers, bye-bye. Bye. There's just no way. There's no way in hell we can do any breakdowns today. It's just not going to happen. It's not happening. Hmm. <laughs> Suspension is just settling then on the brakes. So this one here is going to be annoying because it's so similar to the rest. Move that out of my face. Yeah, so this one in the middle here, because it's so similar to these ones, but this is this is doing something different. So I need to think of a way to remind myself that that's the middle one. Yeah, I'll go get some cable ties, and I'll just put a cable tie around this one once I remove it, so I know that that's the middle one. No. Let's do it. Ow. Oh, it's just 
just so much to bang yourself on your back or your head or Right, so this is the middle one. This is the one I need to remember where that goes to the middle. So well, I'm twizzling that off to get myself a cable tie. I'm going to put it round at the cap. Now I know that that one with a big ridiculous thing on it, flapping about, goes to the middle. Oh, she's hurting me fingers because of the cold. Right, so that's all the ones off the front done. I think what, what I am going to do is just take a quick photo of these here. Because obviously this one on the far right comes from the left. Um, and this one from that's coming from the right. Oh, no, I suppose it... No, that one comes from the left as well. So I mean, it's just a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna just take a couple of photos. They are, they have all got different pin numbers, like, well, different amount of pins in them. So they are pretty simple to figure out anyway, but just to be safe, the space of, in, well, for the sake of 30 seconds, just quickly taking a couple of photos. Why wouldn't you? So, we'll shimmy over to the other side and we'll do the, these ones. Right, so we've now got all of the air pipes off. We're now going to get these ABS sensors off. They've just got a little tab. You've just got to click there. Just give them a little wiggle because the seals get a bit stuck. It's obviously the rubber seal there. So this is one of your ABS sensors. It's only a two pin plug. And this one up here will be a three pin, I would have thought. Give it a little wiggle. Yeah, three pin. So. These two will be easy to figure out. <sighs> yeah, crap in my face. Lovely. That's one. Right, so that is all the electrical, well that's everything off, should I say. That is everything off the valve. Now, let's get these nuts off of here. Which is why I brought these ratchet spanners. Oh my god, this could actually go down as one of the easiest valves I've ever replaced. Everything's nice and loose. It's rare. Usually I'm having to cut these buggers off. This one. Will be beautiful. I'm really surprised that these are coming off so easy. Right, and there is the valve. So, what we do now is we'll get our new one out and we need to match it up. That's what we need there. So obviously, we've got five ports on here, but that's a blanking plug um, that we don't have on this one. So we will need to remove that. There we go. Now we need to get this one up. Right. 
So now all we're going to need is our 22 and our 30. And get all these bloody things back on. Don't know how they sat actually, but that could be a good spot. Oh yeah, it's going on lovely. Oh, even this big one's going on nice and easily. Yeah, usually these fittings are really stiff and it's a real struggle to do it with your fingers. So this job can take absolutely ages. You can imagine you can only do like that much of a turn each time with a spanner and you're fighting it, it's uh it can get a bit annoying pretty quick. So now we can just cut this off of here. Oh, this is flying on. I love to see it. I love to see it. Scoop my boot. Now, just got a few more to go. A little stiffer than the rest. Oh, yeah. I suppose we can't complain too much since everything else has been so easy. We can do this one with a spanner. But as you can see, just how much slower it is. I've got to move this round every time. These little ones are usually easy. That white one is for the airbags or the suspension. Big fat one is our main port in. Lovely. Last one. And we'll do some reprogramming. So you should see now the faults should all be to do with either the control unit or um, the wheel speed sensors. Because obviously it's not been programmed. So it'll be having a hissy fit first. Yeah, sensor 2A, sensor 2B, and control unit. So these are your ABS sensors or wheel speed sensors and control unit. So. What we're going to do, right to ECU, operation complete. So we've just reprogrammed the ECU. As you can see, they've all gone green now, um, which means they are clear. So we just cleared those faults. Right, this can all be shut down now.